he was talking shit to me on Skype. He was saying, you can't get through my bank pin. I said, okay, give me 30 seconds straight through his bank pin into his bank for another 500 mil. So, listen. And that, that was, was that was a mule, wasn't it? Because he's just... Get on there. I'll stop wasting time. I don't really want to fuck about you. I want to wish you a, a great evening. If you leave, I will send a bomb to your house. <laughs> if you send a bomb to my house, I'm in Switzerland. Nobody has a bomb here. Before we start the video, I want to give a quick shout out to my patrons. They're shown on screen. If you want to become a patron, follow the link on the screen or in the description. Thank you. Some of you guys that don't know the full story, and I don't even know the full story, it is a large rabbit hole of his scams and just malicious things that he's done in the past. But I feel like we have to start toward the beginning. So in 06 to 07, Wildy Owns One or Return of Wilderness got popular and got fame via his PKing videos. He had droves and droves of videos, 20 plus of them to be exact, of him PKing with Arams slash Mystic and a ranged weapon. It's one of the first players to actually hybrid, so was pretty innovative for his time. In addition to this, quite frankly, because most of the player base just was not very good at the game, uh, he stuck out as one of the better PKers at the time and amassed a following of thousands and thousands of players. Around this few year stretch, there's not much conclusive evidence of him actually performing lures, scams, or anything sketchy. I'm not saying it didn't happen around this time, it just wasn't well documented. The problems really occurred when he returned in 2011. Around this stretch of time, in 2010 to 2011, he started a new YouTube channel and titled it Return of Wilderness named after the fact that the wilderness had returned in 2011. He managed to amass a cult following based on his 2007 PKing fame. You can see right here, he rose quickly to over 3,000 subscribers, and by 2016, before the channel was taken down due to copyright issues, it was sitting at 72,000. So this is a great video by a user named Fairy Rings. He knew something was up, hence why he doesn't have much in his inventory. I'm sure Wild owns or Return to the Wilderness told him, hey, bring all your best combat gear in your inventory, uh, but wear newbie stuff because we're going to trick these guys and we're really going to stick it to them and we're going to take their stuff from them. But this guy knows what's up, and you can kind of see from the private messages he's trying to manipulate. You know, this is classic manipulation. For those of you who aren't familiar with the Red Portal lure, look over to the right. This is in Clan Wars in 2011. It was a Red Portal. They had the free-for-all portal which you wouldn't lose your items, and they had the red portal. And you can see over to the right, on death, all items are dropped. And that's the looper. You basically get manipulated into thinking, oh, you're going to be the ones to jump on somebody and take their stuff, when in reality, the other team's just going to jump on you and take your stuff. But you can see him just constantly manipulating, doing small talk, trying to lull him into a false sense of security. And pretty soon, you're going to see people run up in Mystic as soon as that countdown reaches zero. And they're going to totally ignore Return of the Wilderness, and they're going to jump on this guy and try and get his shit, basically. And you'll see the manipulation really unfold once they realize they didn't get much of anything from this guy. And this is probably one of Wildy Owns, aka Return of the Wilderness. This is probably one of his subs. This is really fucked up. Like, yeah, you have to be naive and kind of dumb to fall for this. And they're trusting him based on, like, his sub count. And th this guy, I just want to reiterate, did not fall for it. And I'll be including his original video in the description. You can see here, he instantly goes into uh, manipulation mode. OMFG, they on me too. Help, help. Oh my god, they're killing me. You know, etc, etc. But watch this. You see, he goes out. You see him right there in a D-Spear, Berserker Helm, Black D-High Top. So it means nothing happened to him. So he was in on the lure. And he instantly goes into manipulation mode and rips off his armor and acts like he lost and it's confirmed by him actually saying that watch he'll actually say oh i lost my armor yeah ffs you know for fuck's sake give back it, it's just ridiculous the links this guy will go to to manipulate his viewers and subs never trust anyone based on a number beside their youtube account you know anybody can be a piece of shit so anyway this youtube channel fred smith claims that they commented on one of his videos you know how youtubers do even ones nowadays, you know, leave your username below and I'll give you this, you know, half-eaten piece of bubble gum and some pocket lint. So he posted his username, uh, Return of Wilderness, you know, promised to do something interactive with a few of the uh, commenters. And I got to really hand it to him this time because he wasn't lying. He did do something interactive with him. 
It's just, it was scamming. So you can see right off the bat, BGS, 50 mil, Amia Fury, and right under 3,000 red chin chompas. And this guy also had a really bad habit of just being like, more, now I want more, give me more. And he would just do it until the person literally had almost no gold left in the bank. He would just keep asking for more. You can see here, this is literally like potions, very little uh, crap. And he'll just keep asking for more, more, more. And you can see right here, this is his account very much so, while he owns one. The reason it's bad quality is because it's from 2013 and this person may not have known you know, how to record their screen very well. And the reason the mini map is all fucked up is because they like back in the day you had like around 2013, if you hit a lag line, sometimes this would correct itself, but it was like just a graphical issue. And uh, yeah, another thing he would do is if you posted videos like this, calling him out at the time, maybe even recent, like recent ones that call him out, like from 2018, 2016, he will PM you or try and reach you and say to take your video down and you will get your money back. Or he'll, he's even threatened people in the past to take the video down. It's absolutely crazy. And you can't place 100% of the blame on Return of Wilderness because you have to figure he wouldn't have a market to do this bull crap if there wasn't this amount of gullible people. See, he left right there. It's, it's just crazy. This is another damning piece of evidence. And this one really hurts to see just due to the price of a white party hat. And you'll notice it's from 2014, so only a short while after the last one I showed you, around the same RuneScape era, EOC era. And I don't know why you trust this guy with a white party hat. It's absolutely insane. You can read from the comments that this, in fact, yeah, people are trying to call him out and say Wildy owns one was the original account, and it wasn't Wildy owns one with two Ys. And that absolutely was his name. Yeah, you can see here many people backing him up. Account got hacked and his name got changed to that. Proof is in his streams. And, you know, knowing what we know about Return of Wilderness, you just see this crap and it just, it just hurts to see. Like, yeah, it's pixels and all of that good stuff, but it's absolutely stupid how people fall for this. So classic trust trade right here, white party hat. You can see the wealth transfer even in 2014, it was max cash, street price is a lot more than that. And boom, done, you just lost your party hat. I don't know why you trust this guy. And again, the name doesn't match up, it has two Y's, but this is in fact him. And there he goes, later. So this is a good point for anyone still defending him. Uh, this person says, for those who say this is fake or that it isn't a trust trade that Wildy owns, and again, even this guy knows that's his real username, the video is a continuation of a stream he made to clear his name of his scamming reputation, which is very ironic. So he's like, oh, I'm not a scammer. Watch, I'll take this high value party hat and give it right back. So right before accepting the white pea hat, the stream ended, he cut it off himself so that no, no one would see him scamming it. But this guy, you know, the player Kurt, recorded from his end and this is what you see it's not fake the real youtuber is indeed a scammer no imposter this right here it's his behavior carrying on into old school you can see he just scammed all that it's really hard to almost call these scams it's more just manipulation you know taking from his subscribers his fans trust trades trust trades were the dumbest type of scam but apparently this guy he told him he was going to give him a fury if he were to give him you know those items he did it to see if you could trust him and of course you know you can't trust a guy like this and you can see people if it seems too good to be true it is that's a good rule that's a classic saying if, it's, if it seems too good to be true it most definitely is this guy is a goblin this is probably the most damning piece of evidence it's a three hour video i'm not going to include more than just a minute or two out of it um, it's a guy, Michael RS, he put this whole thing together. It's unedited, it's raw. It's the return of Wilderness and his friend essentially manipulating this guy into giving billions and billions of gold. It's absolutely ridiculous. Let me see if I can There's turn really on nothing volume you need to worry about. It's being... Yeah. Uh, this know, is RuneScape he, history right here. Just for some context, this guy has multiple accounts, and I believe the number was 5 billion gold spread out across all these accounts. Yeah, mate, you're making RuneScape history. Uh, you don't even realize it. Um, nah, so you, you win either way. It's it's great. Now, hold on a second. Okay, you got an AGS and stuff. Come and join me. So, real quick, I don't know if he says it in the description. Let me see here. 
So basically, I'm just going to skim through this. Uh, they're essentially using like a screen viewer. That's how he can tell he has an AGS and stuff in his Envy. That's how he knows that. They're looking at his screen as well, or at least Return of the Wilderness is. It's a Skype screen share. It's something to that effect. They can see his screen. Right, notice I've got some more items on me now. There's a reason yeah. for that. So, those you've got in your inventory, give those to me, please. Bro, I just told do you. it. Just do it. I told you that's the last one. Well, just do it. Yeah, okay. So, as I illustrated earlier, you know how I said he keeps asking for more, 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 more? That's what he's doing here. Yeah, um, it would be stupid for you to actually scam people. Let's say it that way. It would, it really would. So, okay. let me price check these up properly with the right guys here. So, you, you get the point. He's doing it. Here he is, you know, getting an AGS, 83 mil, multiple Darok sets, a very wealthy player. All right, so I found it. So, he has 500 mil left on that one account. They know he has 500 mil left on this specific account that's being discussed. He denies them. He's saying, no, I've told you dozens of times I'm not going to trade you this money. And they turn aggressive because that's what people like this do. They turn aggressive. Get on each of the accounts again. Okay, someone else bought their, their accounts for pretty secure. Yeah. One sec, I'm in the middle of doing something. I'm doing it now. That's his maid. He lives with a maid. Alright, now. This was, look in the chat, mate. That was another guy who, who tried talking shit to me. And, uh, you know, he thought, his, he said, my account's safe. I've got authenticator and a bank pin. Thanks for your lies and spirit shield, mate. That was just earlier. There was another one as well earlier. Was another, then he You're thought, doing he said, those all day now? He, he was talking shit to me on Skype. He was saying, you can't get through my bank pin. I said, okay, give me 30 seconds straight through his bank pin into his bank. For another 500 mil. So, listen. And that was, that was a mule, wasn't it? Because he's just... So as you can tell from that last little clip right there, if they don't get the pixels they want, they instantly throw a baby Wawa tantrum and threaten you. They will threaten your email. They will threaten your other accounts. It's absolutely absurd how far these guys will go for pixels. He essentially appealed and somehow got his YouTube back in 2018 after it was shut down in 2016 due to copyright issue. And what does he do? Well, he didn't learn from his mistakes. Check this out. Sketchy gambling, you know, yeah, look at that. He immediately let's see how let's see how the chat reacts because I haven't seen the chat reaction yet. I do do my research before I narrate to a certain extent. But this is a total of 750.5 mil. Keep in mind this is the middle of 2018. So the guy has not learned. At this point, he's in 2018, he's got to be in his mid-20s or a little older, and he's still doing this shit. Like, why would you still be doing this shit? To give you guys an idea of what kind of person this guy is, this is a post from 2017, so not super recent, but he was still 25 plus years old. I can kind of excuse the scamming and luring, you know, when you're like a teenager and stuff, it's kind of funny. But anyways, he's basically shilling for RuneScape private servers here. I don't have much against private servers, but I more took up issue with his like verbiage and the way he talks. You can see here he's boasting, which he's trying to sell like basically RuneScape private servers come to him, pay him money, and then he shouts him out in his videos back when he had a large subscriber base. What I took up issue with is the way he talks. So right here, I have a gigantic mailing list, firsthand interaction with players you need and endless contacts. I have had small games tell me I'm expensive who have never worked with me before which is why they are still small games. And then he, you know, lists an email, which I'll block out, and says, I look forward to interacting with some of you or perhaps conducting business, and basically goes on to say, you know, essentially, I'm very popular. I have hundreds of requests, so you may not even get noticed. So it's like, what the hell's the point even sending you anything, you dumb fucker, if I go unnoticed? So this one was very interesting to me. A user by the name of Planets, says, Return of Wild, can you comment on the multiple users claiming you have scammed them in the past, as I'm extremely interested in your services, however feel unsure about it from reputable, reputable users' comments. He says, I accept my past, but there was only one business-related issue, and that was with Ruse a year ago. There won't be another like that again. 
So he's like, oh, I won't scam again. That's since been proven fucking wrong. He's still doing it today. And he did it in 2018 and probably after that as well. Also, look here, guys. I really appreciate you cleaning up my thread and removing the negative people. It was becoming very toxic, and I really didn't want that. You hear that, guys? He doesn't want a toxic environment. This dude is the epitome of toxicity. That's just, that's just great. That's nice. So remember the business dealings he said he was regretful over and the Rue server? Someone says, that's a fucking lie. I was a manager for the original Ruse. I've seen the chats between both of you guys and know everything that's happened. You post a video, then privated, deleted it, and ran away with $500 in Bitcoin. So he didn't just do this to the old school and RuneScape 3 community. He was doing this to the private server community as well. Even in 2019, he's still holding up with the scams on a website known as Scythe. You know, it's for RuneScape scripts and all that. I'm not going to get into that. It's, you know, not the best website. But, uh, yeah, even they are looking down on what he does, his gambling and scamming. It's, I think he comes with the proposition of gambling and gets people with, like, gambling addictions into his Discord, basically, and then just scams the daylights out of them. So, again, 2019, not a good person. Still doing this, even though he's almost 30 at this point. Here's more evidence of him just scamming and just being scum in general and laughing and screaming like a baboon as it goes on. I'm gonna just do a few here and there. Trust me, just put the barrows up, bro. Here we go. Okay. Are you sure? Yeah, just press accept, man. It's fine. Yeah, you'll see why. Okay, all I want you to do is trade me the Hasta and trade me again it. afterwards. I can't, man. I can't. I really can't. You can, man. I've got can faith I, in you. Can I just have my stuff back, please? Please. Do it for the community, man. It's for the community, can man. I, just have my... I don't want to take I your stuff, dude. Do I'm not here to take your stuff. Yo. I just want to kill myself. Yo, yo, Ryan, what are you doing there, lad? Fucking hell, kill yourself. <laughs> 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 so this brings us to present day. He now is on an account known as RuneScape Gold with a little over 5k subscribers, which is crazy in itself. Oh, fucking hell. Looks like I'm about to lose a sub. Compared to some of the shit he's done, it's kind of laughable. But he's stealing thumbnails as well. Like, this is a settled thumbnail. I'll post it up on the screen. If I find any other similar ones with the other thumbnails, I will post them as well. Some of them might be his, but a lot of them are not his thumbnails, so he's just taking them. He really likes that settled thumbnail right there. And a lot of them are titled pretty innocently, you know, maybe as to not draw as much attention. And as much as I want to rip on the guy present day, I watched a few hours of these streams and I couldn't find any instances of him scamming. Maybe you guys that are more active and keep up with this guy more uh, as of like 2020 or 2021 can kind of tell me more on this little gambling thing and if he's ever scammed anybody on it. Like I said, I've watched two hours here and there, you know, 20 minutes on one, went to another, skimmed through it. And, you know, you do get people like wanting to pay out and he might not instantly respond, but I have no concrete proof of him still scamming players with this gambling scheme. So this is what this guy's up to nowadays. Just beware. That's how I feel, bro. You know, a few things happen to me. A few things happen to me where... You just think, fuck the world, man. Everyone's out to get you, so fuck everyone. <laughs> That's pretty much the attitude I have to everything these days.